Throughout my life, on my journey through self-development, I have consistently run into the same issue over and over again. This issue has really cost me a lot of valuable time in my life and has really gotten in the way of my success overall. So let's just say I'd be going about my day, doing my tasks, and I would pick up an object to use for whatever I was doing. Let's just say something like this pen. I would pick it up, I would use it for whatever I was doing, and I would put it back in the spot that I was last sitting. I didn't put it back in its original home where it should be. And this isn't a problem if you do it here and there every once in a while, but if you were like me up until recently, you would use the things in your life and consistently put them in the wrong spots until one day you'd look around your household and realize that your entire house is a mess or your entire workspace is a mess. This wasn't only confined to my workspace as well. This would bleed over into all other areas of my life. Something like, let's say, the kitchen, for example. When I would eat food, I would go sit down, eat the food, and then take the dirty dish and put it in the sink and not wash it. I might put some water on it, let it soak, but I wouldn't wash it. That would be breakfast. Come around lunchtime, I would do the same thing again. I would take the dirty dish, leave it in the sink, and not wash it. And same thing for dinner. And over time, after a while, I'd come back to go eat and I wouldn't even have a clean fork or a clean spoon to eat with. And my entire sink was filled with dishes. So then I'd, I'd know at that point that I need to do my dishes and put them in the dishwasher. And this was becoming a huge issue in my life. And the reason this is an issue is that when you go to do a task for that one last time, and you realize that you don't even have the tools at your disposal to do them because they're in the wrong place or they're dirty or you can't do something that you wanted to do because you need to do something else first just to get ready for that, that's an issue. This wouldn't even necessarily just apply to physical things as well. This could apply to your relationships in life. For me, for a long time, I was known as someone that was somewhat unreliable, especially unresponsive when it came to responding to my friends. And one thing I would do is that someone would send me a long message and I would push it off to the side. I wouldn't answer it. And then I would go about my day and I'd say, you know what, I'll get to this later. Over time, I'd get more and more messages throughout the day or throughout the week, and I wouldn't respond to them. And then over time, I'd have so many messages piled up that I would have to batch it together and literally sit down for like an hour and respond to all of the unanswered messages that people sent me. And by this point, most of those messages were completely irrelevant and did not matter at all anymore. And me responding so late almost made me look like just someone that wasn't there for them. It makes sense why over time I was becoming known as someone that was unreliable, because I was unresponsive. People over time stopped even messaging me anymore because they knew it was going to take me so long for me to respond. And I understand why. When you let these things pile up in your life until you have no choice but to handle it anymore because it is in the way of something that you want to do, that's not good. It reminds me of a quote from T.I. actually, the rapper. Um, in one of his music videos, he said, you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. And I don't know if that's his quote, but yeah, that one stuck with me. The whole point of this video is to go over the main point, which is something that was huge in my life and something that I learned. It's something that was so impactful for me that it really it really is one of those life-changing life lessons that you can't really go back from once you learn it. And I have to credit this to Chris from Daily Refinement. The name, of, the name of his channel is Daily Refinement on YouTube. 
He's a clothing reseller. I highly recommend if you're into e-commerce or reselling things online, go check out his channel. He's got some great advice. Um, so I have to credit him when I say this, but one of the best pieces of advice that he gave me was, or he gave to all of his followers was reset to zero. Now, what does reset to zero mean? Reset to zero is basically when he was working within his workspace, before leaving and going home for the end of the day, you take everything that was out of its place and put it back into its place. So let's just say you have your desk, for example. You have pens, papers, computer, I don't know. Oh, throughout the day, you have a lot of things that are sitting around. You might have a bottle of water that's half drinking. At the end of the day, instead of leaving it all there, you take everything that you were using, any pieces of trash, anything that's out of place, and you put it all back into order. That's called resetting to zero. You go back to zero, so then the next time that you use the thing that you're using, it's all ready to go. In the future, when something comes up and you need to do something, everything is already ready right there for you. Instead of previously, if you hadn't done that, you might have to rearrange some things. You might have to do an entire hour of work just to get ready to even start your work. You see what I mean? So resetting to zero is so important and resetting to zero in every part of your life is so important. Like I said with the dishes, if I had done my dishes, let's just say, instead of leaving the dish in the sink, you take your dish after eating, you clean it off and put it in the dishwasher. Simple step. It's a simple step and a simple habit that can completely change the way you live. There were times that I couldn't even have people over because my kitchen was so dirty because instead of doing one simple step after eating, I would just leave the dish in the sink. And I know a lot of you out there do the same kind of thing, not just in the kitchen, but in many parts of your life. So I want you guys to get in this habit of resetting to zero in every area of your environment. You know, your living room, your kitchen, resetting to zero on, on your electronics is another huge one. Don't just leave messages unread, piling up. If you have a bunch of random things that need to be deleted so you can declutter your phone, delete all those instantly instead of letting them pile up. You may be able to scrape by, but eventually you won't be able to and it will catch up with you if you don't reset your things to zero. My mom was amazing at this. Literally, it didn't matter what she was doing. If she walked past the sink and there was a dirty dish, she would just instantly clean it and put it in the dishwasher. If she walked past any kind of mess, she would just start cleaning it right then and there. Literally right then and there. And if you don't do these things, over time they will fester and they will become so big that you might end up just giving up entirely on certain tasks that you wanted to get done because there's too much standing in the way of you even starting that task. Like for example, I wouldn't let people come over when they wanted to come over because there was so much cleaning that I had to do that it wasn't even worth it for me anymore to do that. So I would just say, no, let's go do something else somewhere else. And that's not good. And over time, people start to understand that you're not someone that they can rely on. And once they start to understand that, opportunities will stop coming your way. And not even just opportunities, but your own life will, be will become so much harder. And if you just get in the habit of resetting to zero after you do whatever it is you're doing, you will feel so much less obstacles in your way when you're on your path to whatever you're going for, on your path towards your goals. And it, life will feel so much more like a breeze and so much easier because everything will always be ready when you're there to use it. And it'll be hard to put this habit in to your life if you're not used to it, like me. But once you get used to that habit of just resetting everything to zero, life feels so much better and your environment is really what shapes the way you think and if you can keep your environment clean you'll feel so much better as you're 
going throughout your life. And you won't have as many hiccups that get in the way that keep you from doing it as that you want to do. And you'll be able to continue chasing after your goals instead of having to stop time and time again just to handle things that you procrastinated on previously. I just want to bring up a quote that I heard from someone that I follow. And it says, a busy person will spend a little bit of time to do it immediately, and a lazy person will spend a lot of time to never do it at all. This is so important, guys. Let me say it again. A busy person will spend a little bit of time to do it immediately, and a lazy person will spend a lot of time to never do it at all. There's so many things that have been festering in our lives, if you're like me, that they become so big and such a big task that you end up just giving up on it entirely and you just don't do it. Now there's certain things that just make sense to batch together. Certain things like laundry, you know. You're not gonna use one pair of clothes and then go do an entire cycle in, in the laundry machine just for one pair of clothes, you know. Certain things like that you're gonna wanna batch because it just makes sense. So with the things that are consistent in your life that you know that you need to batch, writing out a strict schedule, a strict weekly schedule for doing these things will help erase them from your mind. So for me, for each day of the year, I have a color assigned to that day, a specific set of colors designated to that day. And each color is corresponding with a certain task. So let's just say blue is laundry. So every seven days or so, whatever, however often you need to do laundry, you take a calendar and you put a little blue color on it. That's what I did. You can do it differently if you want, but I put a little blue color on there. So I knew I, all I have to do is go look at the schedule, whatever color it is, that's what I'm doing that day. And then as you go throughout the week, your things will always be handled because you had already scheduled them out. Now, this is really simple for a lot of people. This is something that most of us really learned as children, but I think I think over time, especially someone like me, some of you might be very good at this resetting to zero thing, in which case that's great for you. You you guys are ahead of a lot of people that that need this advice, but we learn this as as children really. Clean up after yourself. That's what my parents always told me, especially when you're out in public. Clean up after yourself pick up after yourself and what's amazing is when we're out in public and we're using public facilities or public areas we're all so diligent with picking up after ourselves. every little thing we return it exactly how it should have been and how it was there when we first came to it but for some reason in our own lives we don't give ourselves that same amount of respect and I just want to say over and over again how important it is to to reset your environments back to zero after you're done using them because it'll allow you to stay consistent in life. It'll allow you to always be ready. And if you're not ready, when opportunity comes by, you could miss the chance to take that shot. Some of you know that I play soccer and one of the, the biggest tips for taking a good shot in soccer is being ready for the shot. If you're caught off guard and you don't take the shot with proper balance, it doesn't matter how good your shot is, it's not gonna go in the direction that you want it to go. But if you know that the ball is coming you and you're prepared and you have the right balance and you know where you wanna aim it, that's 90% of taking the shot and getting it in the goal. And the same goes for life. There's gonna be multitudes of opportunities that come by. And if you're just ready for them and you're prepared so many of them you're going to be able to take and you're going to be able to take that shot and you're going to be ready for it and you're going to be able to perform because you were ready and that's the most important part of this advice is resetting to zero so that you can be ready for the next day for the next time that you use this environment for the next task that comes you can be ready and you're not constantly feeling behind because that's another thing if you're constantly behind on tasks, that starts to get to your psyche. That starts to get in your head. 
and then you start to feel like the person that's behind and not only do you start to feel like that but if if you feel like that other people around you are going to start to treat you like that and they're going to start to see your life and they're going to be like okay that guy seems like he's always behind on stuff so he's just unreliable and that's how it was for me it's amazing what resetting to zero just that simple three word phrase can do for your life if you're if you're not already putting this into practice i highly recommend it that's really why i wanted to make this video just to go over the benefits of keeping your environments not even just physical environments but other things like friendships unread messages emails anything in your life resetting them back to zero and not procrastinating in that specific moment when something comes and just doing it right then and there yes it'll take five extra seconds 10 extra seconds maybe even five minutes to do something but getting it done right then and there will feel so much better in the long run and you'll be always on top of things instead of always behind like i said earlier in the video a busy person will spend a little bit of time to do it immediately and a lazy person will spend a lot of time to never do it at all and it's just so true so if you're like me and you want to chase success and you want to become even better every day instead of pushing something off to the side and procrastinating it let's act like busy people let's act like successful people and let's take a little bit of time out of our day whatever we're doing to stop do it immediately and then get back to what we were doing if there's a dish in your sink and it's dirty just stop right there whatever you're doing if you can stop right there clean the dish put it in the dishwasher and get back to what you were doing if someone messages you something and you have a chance stop right there respond to the message even if it's like a short brief response you responded you read it you gave them some acknowledgement you gave them the response they're looking for and then you go about your day that's something that i've heard the most successful people are consistent at they respond immediately very quickly and they get stuff done immediately they don't waste any time and yeah that's that's basically the video for today guys reset to zero get used to this habit in your life if you're if you're not used to it it will do wonders for your life it has done wonders for mine i'm still i'm still working on getting used to it in my life and every time i do it every time i put it into practice it feels amazing and it makes me feel like i'm on top of things and just even feeling like that can be the fuel that you need to keep going so lastly i just want to leave you guys with this quote this quote has really helped me in my life it's actually the background on my phone right now but it goes like this the only true shortcut to success is to avoid all of that time wasted procrastinating thank you for watching <laughs>